ladies and gentlemen, Ron DeSantis or the Attorney General of Florida can indict Hillary Clinton. Can, I'm not saying will, absolutely, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and officials at the DNC. The Clinton campaign and the DNC, number one, paid FEC fines. So, report, Clinton campaign, DNC paid for research that produced Trump dossier, that's CN, uh, CBS, and then they paid fines. They were in violation. So, the DNC and Clinton campaign, I have this up right now, they were fined. DNC Clinton campaign agreed to steal dossier funding fine, AP News. FEC fines Hillary Clinton campaign and DNC over Trump uh, dossier research, CNN. They were fined. Why? Because they claimed, just like Trump in Manhattan, or the Manhattan DA claims that Trump said it was legal services when in reality it was for his campaign, they claimed legal services. So if you look... um. They paid millions of dollars, $5.6 million in legal fees from 2015 to 2016. The DNC also paid $3.6 million in, quote, legal and compliance consulting fees. But the same question of how much, uh, okay, so they, they, nobody knows exactly how much they paid Fusion or Christopher Steele, but they do know how much they paid the law firm, the same law firm involved with the Durham probe, okay? So, the reporting, the business reporting, because their corporation was off, they were fined by the FEC. Why is it outlandish that uh, DeSantis or his attorney general, Ashley Moody, another Republican, would go after, would do the same thing? If it's the rule of law, what's the difference? Well, what's the difference? And the jurisdiction would be, well, you know what? The DNC fraud lawsuit. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was head of the Democratic National Committee. They might be headquartered in D.C., but they were they were headed by a Florida Repo uh, Democrat. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she resigned. And according to an Observer article, and I was writing in the Huffington Post about this and the and, and, and Salon and... You can read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and HAGoodman.com, and other publications. I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to The Huffington Post. And the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to The Washington Post. They paid FEC fines. They labeled their payment of the Steele dossier as legal, legal services, just like what Trump did. DNC is a corporation, just like Trump, Trump has a corporation. And if you look, ladies and gentlemen, Florida court concedes the DNC had a right to favor Clinton in Democratic primary. So, they the the the, the rule is a discretionary rule. They didn't even they don't even have to. However, lawyers representing the DNC claim that Article Five, Section Four of the party, char party Charter, which states the DNC staff must must ensure neutrality during the primary process was simply a, quote, discretionary rule that the court had no right to interpret or rule on. It's, just, it's up to their discretion. Or they could choose their nominee in smoke-filled back rooms, which is what the one of the lawyers is, claims to, is, is uh, stated, something along those lines. But Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Go to hagoodman.com. Like I said, my Patreon's below. Um, to my super thanks, thank you. We're over 204,000 subs we're growing because I'm just reading from public record. Here, the North State Journal, Florida court concedes the DNC had a right to favor Clinton in Democratic primary. The There's already a precedent of a case against the DNC in Florida. DNC lawyers argue DNC had right to pick candidates in back rooms. The Observer, great journalist, wrote this story. Okay, Politico, federal camp. Okay, D AP News, D oh, sorry, AP News, DNC Clinton campaign agreed to steal dossier funding fine. They were fined. Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned. She promptly worked for the Clinton campaign. 
And they then, at that time, utilized campaign money to fund a dossier and say that it was legal services and were fined. Trump was not fined. No fine for Trump. Say it slowly, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats who are allergic to the truth, apparently. The DNC emails showed that Bernie Sanders was cheated, okay? The Twitter files show that the Twitter was an extension of the Democratic Party. This is all too much for the morally superior. They're so used to getting away and, and, and with impunity, doing everything. But DeSantis could easily look at the FEC fine, the fact that Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the DNC chairwoman, did resign. Why did she resign? Why? Why did Debbie Wasserman Schultz resign? Why? The Guardian, the chair of the Democratic National Committee, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, has announced her resignation on the eve of the party's convention. Why did she resign? Oh, that's right. Because the truth about how they were treating Bernie Sanders, who, by the way, is a tool of the Democratic Party. Okay, that's fine. We, we know that. Okay? Trump, they're going after Trump. They did, they did Bernie dirty, and now they're doing Trump infinitely worse. But Trump, Trump fights back. There's a difference. Trump has a spine, he has integrity, and he's a lot... They say that Trump has no integrity. He's a narcissist. The greatest narcissists are the people who... You, you should see how Debbie Wasserman Schultz treated... It. Uh, Matt Taibbi and Michael Schellenberger. And she resigned from the Democratic National Committee. Why? And had something to do, well, maybe not her directly, but the DNC was fined. So you have to ask, well, why was the DNC and the Clinton campaign fined in addition to why Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned? And so, I'm just reading from public record sources. Clinton campaign, DNC paid for research that produced Trump dossier, CBS News. AP News, six years or five years later after that story, DNC Clinton campaign agreed to steal dossier funding fine. Trump was never fined. Why is the Manhattan District Attorney going after him? Oh, that's right, because they're Democrats and they're desperate to get him. Well, if you want to use the same logic, you have... A political, you have the Democratic National Committee headed by a Florida Democrat fined by the FEC for purchasing a dossier through legal expenses using campaign funding. The DNC chairwoman resigns. The question is, why did she resign? And then promptly join the Clinton campaign. Um, so... These are questions that could easily lead to the same type of treatment. And if you look, they're getting Trump for claiming that his campaign, that some a fun, a funding campaign money was used and claiming that it was for legal purposes. Well... Um, that is exactly why the DNC and the Clinton campaign were fined. By the way, Debbie Wasserman Schultz was heading the DNC and then joined the Clinton campaign. NBC News, Clinton campaign, DNC fined over improper spending. So DeSantis and his attorney general have exactly the case, almost exactly the case, obviously it's not exactly the case, but almost exactly the case, that the Manhattan District Attorney does. And the difference is that Trump wasn't even fined. <laughs> so, Trump wasn't even fined. And if you look, let's see here. I just want to see this really quickly. Here, Wasserman Schultz to have a new role in Clinton campaign. July 24, 2016. I mean... Hillary Clinton is thanking her longtime friend Debbie Wasserman Schultz after the Florida Congresswoman's decision to step down as chair of the Democratic National Committee. Clinton says Wasserman Schultz will serve as honorary chair for campaign's 50-state program <laughs> to help elect Democrats around the country. 
Then there's a political article saying that Clinton took over the DNC. So Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned, joined the Clinton campaign. Both of the DNC and the Clinton campaign were fined. I mean, you can't make this up. And they used legal expense. They said it was legal expense. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. DeSantis could, could easily indict Clinton tomorrow. Or, I mean, the, you, the governor's not going to do so, but you, that it could easily be done. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. It would be the Attorney General. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now.